Lauren and today I'll be discussing my research with you all. For my video project, I decided to interview some friends and family on their grocery shopping habits and how it affects their happiness. My main goal was to find out how access and avail availability to food affects black people's um, overall mental health and our happiness in general. Here's the market where I currently work. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to interview any customers, but I just wanted to show you all what we provided and the community that we served. The following videos are the evidence that I have gathered during my research. Not often, that's often. Okay. So, I was in that grocery shop like once every two weeks but I also buy little things throughout the week, so. Probably every week, probably on a weekly basis. Um, I would say not, not too often. There's not much, many times where I need produce. It's okay. Uh, I tend to always buy produce. Um, I really like to cook. So even if I'm buying treats or if I'm doing my regular grocery shopping, I always buy produce. I probably buy produce close to every time that I go grocery shopping. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, 10. <laughs> I, I grew up in a household where my mom and I grocery shop probably once a week. And even if it was like pre-made food, uh, it was always like, a special treat to kind of like look at the things that we bought together and so grocery shopping makes me very happy because it's so tied to like yeah having nourishment but also having like treats but also <laughs> having like this is the stuff that sustains my life i feel pretty happy i'll say like eight out of ten okay great Oh man, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy do I feel? Usually it's right up there at a 9 or a 10. That's good. Okay. I love food. That's great. I'm just going to ask you why. Uh, yeah, I love food. I like thinking about um, having, uh, you know, nutritious food in my house that I can prepare for myself. You know, food is, um, you know, can be a form of pleasure. So when I, when I think about, you know, grocery shopping and buying food that I enjoy preparing and, and eating, it's like, it's an exciting feeling. It's a good feeling. I'm grateful that I'm able to provide, you know, mm -hmm. and buy groceries for myself, so. That's a good feeling. It is a great feeling. <laughs> my mood after eating my favorite meal. Yes. Satisfied, nourished. That's good. You know, like my mood is, you know, satisfied is probably the best way to describe it. I feel like I have fed myself, I have utilized my groceries and my, you know, kitchen and, uh, you know, fuel for my body. So, and I, if it tastes good, that's even better. So I feel satisfied. Yeah. Um, I want to say I feel different, but I would definitely say I prefer to purchase fresh produce. Okay. So I would consider this area mixed. Um, it mixed as far as like racial demographics, but. In, not necessarily like mixed as far as like class demographics. So where I'm at in Lakewood Heights, the neighborhood of Atlanta, was historically a like poor working class white neighborhood. And where this neighborhood is now is more so like becoming more of a like black, predominantly black, like middle class neighborhood. And so I definitely consider it mixed. Uh, we definitely don't have grocery stores. <laughs> um, the closest grocery stores to us are certainly not walking distance. Uh, it would certainly require two buses to get to. Uh, I feel very privileged that I have a car that can get me to my grocery stores. But yeah, there's like limited fresh food options here. There's a market called Carver Market that opened up maybe like five or six years ago in this neighborhood and I really appreciate it because it like provides like convenience items that like you know just like staples in people's houses but also has like fresh produce um and so even the grocery store that is in our neighborhood I don't know if it's Big Bear a Little Bear it <laughs> looks like it's a little bit scary to shop in I'm not very confident that they'll have the foods that I need to um, yeah, provide for myself. So I gotta drive out of my neighborhood to get groceries. 
Based on my evidence, I think it's clear that black people deserve to be fed. We as a community love food, we love fresh food, and we love fresh produce. Um, yet we're constantly placed in communities that limit our access to the nutrition that we need to survive. Um, in my opinion, no one should have to travel more than 10 minutes to get to the nearest gas station, I mean, grocery store, and no one should have to solely rely on gas stations or convenience stores to survive. Um, as a community, we're already constantly isolated and left out. I believe that food access should not be something that we should also have to worry about. Um, access to fresh food, fresh produce is a natural right. It's a human right. Everyone deserves it. Everyone deserves to be fed, whether they're black or not. Um, I really think, at the end of the day, it boils down to black people deserve to be fed. And um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.